that. Now, in a brand new series, Gino showing you how to make some of his favourite Italian recipes. Uh, for his first masterclass, he is reigniting a bit of a debate about exactly what goes into a classic carbonara. To Italians, nothing is more important than family and food. In this series, I want you to see Italian food through my eyes. For its simple ingredients, impressive results and fantastic flavors. From risotto to pizza, these are the dishes I grew up eating. This is Italian food made easy. Mambo Italiano. Try an angelata with the fish of bacalan. Yes, we all know nowadays we can get good Italian ingredients in supermarket, but if you want to get the best Italian ingredients, you have to go to an Italian deli. Come with me, because I want to get inspired. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Ciao, bene? Ciao, bella. I'll tell you the smell. Yeah. You find I'm... like a little trip in Italy. Yes. Beautiful. What have you got? Here we have a nice yeah. selection. Salami. And narcisa mortadella. Guanciale. Yeah, of course. I'm interested in this. Can I have like a big piece like that? Sure. Something like that. Because what do you have in I want mind? To do, I want to do a sauce. Okay. I want to do a pasta dish. Everybody should know that in Italy we have over 800 shapes of pasta. People still say to me, why do you need so many shapes? I'll tell you why. Because for every sauce we create, we also create a shape to go with it. And we got uh, some nice pecorino. Roman it's a one. great marriage with the guanciale. I'll tell you what. I'm thinking... Guanciale, pecorino romano. Yep. Go on, what are you thinking? See if we think of the same thing. Carbonara. I bet it's only, if, have you got the Bugatini? Oh yes, Gianni just Bugatini. behind oh. you. I have the inspiration that I needed. Bugatini alla carbonara. And this dish, right, only needs pasta, the cheese, the guanciale, and the eggs. It's as simple as that. Grazie caro. Thank you. Ciao, bello. Grazie a te, a presto. Ciao, ciao. Okay, so please forget about anything you know on how to make a carbonara. See all of this? Absolutely useless. To make a proper carbonara, you need eggs, pecorino cheese, guanciale or pancetta, and pasta. Now that we got that out of the way, let's cook. Now, it's very important whenever you cook pasta that you have a large pot because the pasta needs to be able to move around. If you want a tasty pasta, you need to pour salt. That's it. That's the rule. That is my rule. That's the rule of Italian people for the last 2,000 years that they've been doing this dish. So we're just going to have to follow it. Okay. If you can get the guanciale, you can use the pancetta. I've got no problem with that. Slice into strips and dice. As you can see, I haven't put any butter, any oil. I'm relying on the fat on the guanciale. Now, we're going to deal with the eggs. The traditional way, you only use the egg yolks. So the way I do it, you break the egg whole into a bowl like this. And very gently, with your fingertips, you pick up the yolk, run it through your finger like that. So you're going to end up with a beautiful yolk into your hand. That's what you want. Next, grate the cheese into the egg yolks and mix together. Once you create a paste like this one, what you have to do, you take a little bit of the salted water from the uh, pasta and you add half ladle straight in there. So, in there, you remember to keep an eye on the guanciale, yeah? Once you achieve this, this is exactly what you want. A little bit crispy, all the fat is running through the pan. Just switch it off and keep it on the side here. There is only one pasta to do a traditional carbonara, and that's called mucatini. It looks like a thick spaghetti. We're gonna add the pasta in there, open it up like this. Just make sure with a pair of tongs that you push it under the water. Now, this is nearly there. You just pick up the pasta, like this. And it goes straight into the pan with the guanciale. What are we doing now? We are absorbing the flavor of the guanciale in the fat. You remember the mixture we made with the pecorino and the eggs? That is going to go straight 
on top, like this. We add in the water from the pasta. So that goes in there. So what you need to do is to shake and mix. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Simple as that. It's time to serve. Finish with pepper and grating or cheese. Look at that. This is the classic bucatini alla carbonara. There is my masterclass in this classic Italian dish. Mm. If it was up to me, I would have a carbonara every other day. Mm. It is so I know. It actually is, and I, I'm stepping away from the carbonara argument because this is incredible. But I think when you look at carbonara, you think of the other one, don't you? If you think the of Alfredo. The... Do I? Is it the Alfredo? Alfredo, I think it is. That's the more creamier one. I think that's the one that we think we're eating, but we're mm. not. But having said this, this is creamy and smooth and cheesy. Thank you, Gino. Mm. Well done. Very good. Right, did <laughs> you'll be here to take your calls in today's phone, and we'll see you after. See you after the carbonara. Mm.